Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be how, about how to create a font, your own font. It's pretty slick, uh, and the reason I'm doing this, because on Facebook, we've been trying to figure out how to create a, a vector font where you could just have one single hairline, and it would cut these lines, and you could use, you know, high speed or low power, and, you know, just mark your wood, and the gentleman that suggested it or wants to know how to do it, I don't really know what his plans are, but evidently he wants to mark the back of his work in a lot of them. He wants to do it real quick and it doesn't have to be in gray, but this doesn't work still because it's two lines. Now they are hairlines. So it would, this is as close as I've gotten so far, this would cut a lot faster than it would engrave. Your vector would probably do this in uh, 30 seconds where it might take you know, two minutes to engrave this, you know, the same thing. So how did I create, I created both these this morning. You need to go to a program and I imagine there's several, but I found one called myscriptfonts.com. You go to their program. It comes up with this template fill out. You need to download the template. You uh, download it. I downloaded a PNG. It saves it. And then you would go to Corel Draw and open it. And this is what you get. Now you need from there, you need to make this eight and a half by 11. And as you can see, I was just playing around. I'm using my artistic media tool. And you'll see how good or bad your, your mouse control are is. But that didn't look half bad for a G. So what you'd want to do then, in just a word of warning, when you click too close to this page, you're going to grab the page. So you need to be off the page. Select each font if you're going to have more than two lines and go Control G and now they're together. Now let's say you drew this G and it's, you need to stay on one of these baselines. Let's just, let's tell you what, let's do one that's not. Um, and I'm not going to save that. It's not very pretty, but you want to get off here, control G, then grab all these with your pick tool, just lasso them, go up to object, align and distribute, align at the bottom. And what it did, it brought that H up. Let's back up and watch that H go down. So it's bringing that H up. Whoop. It's bringing that H up so they'll all be on the same line. And that's pretty important. And then you've got this. I would make sure everything's off your page. I would uh, F4. And then that way you know that this is the only thing on your page. And then you're going to want to export this. Go down to export. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I just did it, but it, I'm going to call it new fonts. You hit export. It's going to come up with this. I don't know if this really matters, but I'm going to go black and white. You can see the page is eight and a half by 11. And then hit OK. Then go to your program and browse and we're going to go untitled and I'm just going to put new new font Doug let's do that then go hit start in just a second it's going to come up with a result just click on it it's going to ask you to open it then just hit install and this, what it's doing is installing your new font inside of your font folder in Windows. And then I didn't do the whole alphabet, so we need to go with A, B, C, D, E, F. Let's just do those letters. Make them any size you want. Go up to your font folder and go... Um,
You know what? I don't know if I saved it. Um, okay, there it is right there. Voila, you got your own font. Um, as you can see, it's pretty unique. You might not ever use it, but if you took some time and you could, you know, you could go in there and, you know, change some things and, uh, you know, whatever you wanted to do and, you know, I wouldn't suggest doing that. But anyway, myscriptfonts.com is pretty cool and I'm still going to try to figure out how to do a vector font. There are some online, but you have to pay for them and um, we don't want to go there. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching and hope you have a little fun with that.